What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Keegan, of course! And today we are going back on Facebook to join random community groups to see what kind of drama we can get into. Now you guys can see we're on the random Facebook page that I made last Facebook video. And one thing in this video really worries me. I had to ask to join these groups and I'm not really sure if they're gonna let me in due to the fact this is pretty much a new profile and I have not done anything on here just because I am i don't do Facebook. This is just a profile for the videos and that's it. And I'm not really sure if they're gonna let me in or not. I'm crossing my fingers they do. But there's only one way to find out. So we're gonna go to groups right now. We're gonna look up. I don't wanna do community groups around my area because people know me around here. I was, I was thinking we could do community groups down in Florida because they are pretty crazy down there. So we looked up neighborhood watch groups in Florida and this is the results that came up. Florida Place Neighborhood Watch Group. It's a private group. Those are the ones I'm worried about. I'm not sure if they're gonna let me in or not. I do see a public one that has over 2,000 members in it. So honestly, that would be a good one to get into and just start some crazy drama into. But I'm just pretty much gonna try to join as much as possible and then we'll wait 24 hours to see which ones we got into and then the drama starts. So we got a little problem. I clicked on Port Charlotte Neighborhood Group and this comes up. You guys can see I had to answer que serious questions before I actually get in the group, which is kind of understandable, but really guys, it's not that serious. So they want to know why I want to join the group. But honestly, I really want to get into this one, especially because this has 8,300 members. So some drama has to be going on, or at least I could start something little just because how many members there are. All right. So it took me a second to fill out all the questions. The first one was why I want to join the group. And I said something really smart to hopefully get into it. I said to keep everyone one safe around the area because honestly I feel like that is a good answer. Question two was to make sure I didn't advertise anything on here and the other one was pretty much the same thing I would say and we submit that and now we just pretty much wait until they accept me. We hope. I'm not really sure if they will. And I'm going to say most of the chats are going to be like that that are private just because they want to make sure you only have good intentions for joining the group. They don't want anybody actually like me to join it and start drama. Two very boring minutes later. So it has now been 10 minutes and as you guys can see on the screen I pretty much joined pretty much the whole line of Facebook's groups. I'm gonna say I joined 10 to 15 groups in total. I didn't want to do an extreme amount like 30 to 50 groups because that's just way too many. But some of these groups were really huge like 8,000 members, 3,000 members. There were some little ones that I tried to join that had like 800, 300. So I don't really care about the small ones. If I can get into like two or three of the big ones like they have 8,000, 10,000, at least a couple thousand, I would be happy. And I think those would be some really good ones to get into. And since we are joining these groups to start some drama in them, comment down below what you think I should say to these groups like should I call someone's pet ugly should I call someone's house just like that's a bad house should I what should I tell these people but now we gotta give it about 24 hours or so just so we can get accepted into these groups the following day all right so it has been about 24 hours and right now as you guys can see at the top right corner it shows two notifications so far but we click on it and there's a whole list of groups that have let me in or still want to ask me questions and we need to go through this real fast all right so looking through this whole list you guys can see on the screen i have been accepted to eight total groups so far three of them on the screen want to ask me more questions i think why i want to join the groups but i'm not really worried about that right now right now we got to figure out which one of these groups has the highest number of members in it start some drama in that and then maybe towards the end of the video we can figure out what other questions these other groups have and somehow maybe still get into them but now we have to go through the list you guys can see on the screen going through it if we can find one that has like 11,000, 12,000, a group that has like thousands and thousands of members that would be really easy just to start some drama. It would be really easy to start some drama due to the fact that they just have thousands and thousands of members that will probably just fall for the most stupid stuff. So we're gonna go through a couple of them. You guys can see this one has 1 1.8 thousand members. And honestly, that's a lot of people. 1,800 people. That's a lot more people than I really thought would join these groups because these, in a way, I'm probably wrong on this, but I feel like these groups are like kind of pointless. What did they do in these groups? It's like neighborhood watch groups so what do you guys really do on them what are you guys really protecting like if someone's robbing your house you don't type it in the facebook group chat you call the cops like how is this really helping but we go to the next group chat and this one has twenty-seven thousand members i think this is the perfect one to try to start some drama in all right now that we have decided which group we're going to try to start the drama in we really got to figure out what i should say and what will trigger people just enough so they'll reply and like actually start some real drama in the group my first thought on this thing is I could like look up 
ugliest pet in the world on Google and go to images and post one of those in the group chat and ask them, yo, what do you guys think about my new pet? But looking back on that idea, that's really not starting any drama at all. That's just asking a kind of stupid question. But then my second idea I had is I could act like I live down in Verno Beach, wherever this neighborhood is, that I could accuse some neighbor I have like down the street from me or something like that, that keeps leaving rotten tomatoes in my yard or something really stupid like that. I feel like that could start some drama there. I'm not really sure though. Leave your guys' thoughts down below because I really actually need some help starting drama on this. So like I was just saying, I could say something like this. Whoever keeps leaving rotten tomatoes in my yard and all over my house when I leave for work needs to stop now. Since I did do it in all caps, as you guys can see, I do feel like it will get more people's attention. And I think people are gonna kind of take this as like a stupid joke. They, there's no way they take something like this serious at all. As you guys can see, this is probably what we're gonna post to this group chat at least. It says, whoever keeps leaving rotten tomatoes in my yard and all over my house when I leave for work needs to stop now. This is absolutely not cool and shouldn't happen to anyone because it takes forever to clean up every day. So stop. And you guys can tell there's a bunch of misspelled words. So and if people just laugh at this, that's all that matters. As long as I get a crazy reaction from people, hopefully people do want to know what actions they can help to help me. That would be cool. But as long as we get a reaction, that's what matters. And as you guys can see, I cleaned up, I linked pretty much all the words and I'm posting it right now. It is posting. So I try to post it and this pops up. It looks like we're going to have to take this to a different group chat. You are temporarily restricted from posting to groups until July 12th at 10.32 a.m. If you think this doesn't go against our community standards, let us know. What the heck? I just joined. I just got accepted to this group within 24 hours. How does this even happen? So I left that last group. You guys, for some reason, they just did not let me post about the rotten tomatoes that some how end up all over my house when I left for work and all that. But I got into this one. It's the Florida Weather Watch team. They have just over 2,000 members. And honestly, since a big group that had 27,000 members or whatever, they had over 20,000 members, did not let me post. I thought I'd try one of these smaller ones. And in the last group, they, for some reason, they didn't want me to type that in. So maybe it was like too extreme or something. I don't really know. So we're not going to go as crazy on this group chat. It's going to be something crazy, but it's not going to be too extreme. So since this is a weather group and all they do is pretty much talk about the weather this is what i came up with hey everyone does anyone have any idea at all when it's gonna snow here it's way too hot for me because it is florida and it is florida and i've never heard it snow in florida at all so this is pretty much just another stupid question to everyone and also i feel like people are gonna just laugh at this too but hopefully we can post this and it doesn't just reject me for posting this because the last one from the last group still makes no sense to me so let's try it out right now we're gonna post click post and it is posting and they said the exact same thing Thing. That doesn't make any sense. You're temporarily restricted from posting to groups until July 12th at 10 32 a.m. So they're telling me I can't post for a whole month into groups at all. That makes completely no sense. If you think this doesn't go against our community standards, let us know. All I'm asking is when is it going to snow in Florida? Like, how is that such a bad thing? I don't feel like that's bad at all. I just want to know when it's going to snow in Florida. I'm not sure if that's a rule for all Facebook groups. You have to wait a whole month since the date you joined to post in the group. That just kind of seems ridiculous to me. Facebook, if you're watching this, I think you should kind of fix that. That just seems kind of ridiculous. But I am going to have to end the video off right here due to the fact that they won't let me post anything. If you guys want me to make more Facebook videos, let me know down in the comments because honestly, these are pretty fun to make. Make sure to subscribe, guys. We're on the road to 2K. We're almost there. Everyone else, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.